That's right, impact is the most important part of any golf swing. If you look at all the top players in the world, they have a perfect impact position. Golf swings look very different from setup, takeaway, top of the backswing, transition, downswing. But what they all have in common on the top level golfer is an incredible impact position. Guys, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Welcome to Jumeirah Golf Estates. My name is Andy Carter. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're enjoying the content so far, or if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell for notifications as well. There's lots of content coming your way. But for today, we're talking impact. One of the first things that I coach a new golfer that I've, I'm seeing for the first time is the first thing I look at, obviously outside of the basic fundamentals, is where the ball flight is going. We, a lot of golf coaches, we coach off ball flight. If it's going too high, to the left, to the right, etc. And the causes of these different ball flights are the position that you're in at impact. If I see the ball go too high, I could see a golfer early extend. If I see the ball push to the right hand side, I could see a golfer swinging into the, the, uh, the ball too much from the inside with an open club face or too much. You, you get my view. So we look at the golf ball first and then we work back to impact. What happened at impact for the golf ball to do what it what it currently doing? And then we work back into the downswing and then up to the backswing. So we work backwards as golf coaches and we work with the ball. Then we work to this point. Impact is so important. So I want you guys to try and take away from this video an understanding of what you want impact to try and look like. Now, again, every golfer is different in terms of flexibility. Being able to have the ability to rotate, to get the hands in a certain position, to get the body weight in a certain position, we're all very different. We've all got different flexibility, we've got different grips, grip makes a huge difference, we've got different posture positions, different width of stances. So this is a very Fact, very basic, very generalized video because we're all so different, okay? But I think you, there's going to be enough information that you can take away from this that regardless of any, any drawbacks in terms of flexibility or anything like that, you can still try and get into this position. Now, the key things I want to try and see, the club head wants to stay behind the hands into impact, okay? So we never want to see this club ahead of the hands like this. Look at where the shaft is leaning, okay? I want to see the shaft of the club leaning towards the target. We don't want to see it straight, uh, a 90 degree angle to the ground. We want to see the shaft of the club lean towards the target. That's going to help us deal off the club face so that it counteracts the angle of attacking force. If you hit down on a golf ball, it creates backspin, which elevates the golf ball. So we want to deal off the club face counteract it for a little bit more distance. Also, one of the, the probably the more important than this is compression. If I've got the shaft of the club leaning towards the target, then again it's helping me get a descending blow into the ball and it's helping me compress that golf ball against the turf, the club comes into the ball and then carries on through a little bit of the ground as well. So it's encouraging the compression into impact. Another key area I'd like to try and see for impact, that's number one. Another key area, number two, is where your body weight is at impact. We never ever want to be leaning away from the golf ball. Now I think this is where a lot of golfers feel like they lifted their head. Okay, I feel like a lot of golfers assume they lifted their head and it's actually because of the weight distribution. If I hit a golf shot and I lean back, okay, and I go through impact, the first thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at the sky. Okay, if I'm looking at the sky, I'll automatically assume I lifted my head. In my brain right now, lifting your head is this. No golfer in the world does that. Golfers do lean back. Okay? They lean back and they feel like they've lifted their head. Okay? So we've got to make sure the hands stay ahead of the ball, the shaft leans towards the target. The body weight as it comes back into the ball is forwards towards the left hand side. What this is going to do with your chest angle is going to help keep your chest over the golf ball and slightly to the left. If my body weight leans back, my chest is now up and away from the golf ball, pushing up towards the, towards the sky. So really important, the shaft of the club leans towards the target, the body weight moves in towards that left-hand side, and these are areas that we can work on for compression and quality of strike. The rotation of the hip comes down to your flexibility. 
Some golfers are going to be able to get into that position from there. Some actually won't really be able to rotate. Now, that could be because of a, a, a poor postural position and setup. As a coach, we would work on all these different areas. But if you feel like you can't at the moment get through the shot in terms of rotation, then again, this is still a decent enough impact position, isn't it? The body weight slid towards that left hand side. The hips haven't rotated at the moment because they can't, again, depend on any flexibility. But we've got the shaft of the club leading towards the target. We can still hit lots and lots of good golf shots like that. Okay? But if you can rotate, then from here, from the top of the back swing, we want to get to that position. We want to rotate down into that left side. Hands stay ahead of the golf ball. Right wrist will always stay a little bit more hinged as you come into impact. Weights forward, hips have turned, shaft of the club leading towards the target. As a result of my, my weight being forward, my hip rotating, my hands being ahead of the target, my upper body is really working down into compressing the back of the golf, back of the golf ball, not working upwards because my body is in a bad position in terms of weight distribution. So narrowing this down to two key areas for impact. Shaft leans towards the target, body weight gets towards your left hand side. Let's compress the ball. Figure out your own flexibility in terms of rotation. Look back on that and maybe relate it to an earlier video I've done. Actually, if you go back into my posture explain video, look at your posture in comparison to that video as well. Maybe your poor posture leads to poor rotation. Okay? Maybe you've got good posture and just poor rotation. Maybe go and get some, even look into some physio to help you release the hips a little bit better. Again, that's a conversation for something different. But if you wanted to drop me a note, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. If, you, if you've got good posture but poor flexibility or poor posture leading to poor flexibility, let me know. I can give you some hips, give you some help and tips on that as well. So please do comment in the box below. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Impact is, impact is so crucial. It is number one in terms of the position, our position we need to be as we're about to strike the golf ball. It's, it's the position where we strike the golf ball, so it's so important. It affects everything that happens with the golf ball out there. Okay, if we can improve this position at impact, we improve that golf ball doing, doing what it's doing, okay? Guys, thank you very much for watching again. Please do subscribe to the channel. Follow me on the social media platform from a very sweaty and very warm Dubai. See you soon.